we're cooking again. It's a great day to be alive. Uh, my buddy, my cousin Carlos, down from Nashville, I hope y'all helped him out in the last video. We're rolling through, we're still cooking tonight. So guess what we got? With all that extra chicken we got, we got some skewered chicken. And what we gonna do, uh, we've already seasoned this with salt and pepper generously. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grease up our grill with the Earl, we love some Earl, right? What we're gonna do, and you see they're skewered. They're skewered. What we did with here is cut strips of chicken and we run a barbecue skewer through it. I thought I had some bamboo skewers, which would actually work a lot better for this because they're thinner and they don't have this, this uh, thing back here. But all we're gonna do is grease it up, spread out that Earl, spread out the Earl. And we're gonna slap it down in there. I'm gonna make sure it's good and flat. This guy isn't flattening them out. Woo, there we go. All right, see, she's flat now. She's flat. Good enough. Listen to that sizzle. Hear that sizzle. We ain't sticking. We sliding around like a hockey puck on some ice. That's what we like to see on that wonderful, beautiful black stone griddle. You know what? I got some more. I got some more chicken over. I got some more. I'm gonna uh, slide my spatula over. Reach up and grab one of these guys right here. You know how to tell these these work right? That's how you tell if they work right. You gotta click, click, click. All right, so while these are cooking, get a good sear on them. This is kind of low with my griddle down. I'm about medium low here. Cook, 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 cook. All right, well, what, what are we gonna spice them up with? How about some, uh, Yoshido sweet teriyaki. This is uh, I'll see if I'll see if Amazon sells this. If they do, I'll put a link below. Uh, but you can pick this up at your Kroger, at your Walmart. Uh, I keep this stuff on hand in the refrigerator inside. I, I just keep it all the time. It's a great something to have while this is cooking. I must pick two. That's awesome. All right, well, I'll tell you what, you put that Tony's up, you give me that seasoning on that crushed red pepper, we're gonna do some pepper flake chicken. Wait, hold on. Hold yeah. me that. All right, go put that up. All right, so what I just did here, what I just did here is take this wonderful, beautiful Yoshito while this is cooking down there and I just drizzled it on there. It's gonna cook in. You see it's starting to run off a little bit right there. Get it, get it in there. Get it on in there. Don't let it, and remember, this stuff's got a little bit of sugar in it. It's sugar content, I should say. So it, it's prone to burn. So you wanna put this on just as you're finishing that cook over here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. See how this is bubbling up and sticky like that? If you seasoned your griddle right, which I hope I have, this stuff shouldn't stick too bad. It should still slide around like a hockey puck. All right, it looks like that's going good. So Jacob was wonderful and uh, brought me some seasonings for this chicken here. And you see, it's still in that, it's still in that styrofoam. I'm gonna hit it with a little pepper. That's my uh, fancy talk for black pepper. Remember these little guys, look at that link below. You can get these little Tupperware containers. These are amazing. If you know somebody that sells Tupperware, they're great. And we're gonna season both sides. I don't know why. But I like to do one seasoning at a time. While this is cooking, I'm giving y'all a little bit of entertainment over here. I'm going to have to clean this. You know, I, I like to keep my griddle clean. Like cleaner than the Waffle House does. But clean griddle is a happy griddle. Happy griddle makes great food. All right, we're going to uh, hit this with a little bit of season all. Instead of salt, we're going to use season all on these guys. And a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper is great stuff. While that's in here, I would normally hit this with some uh, with some olive oil to help that pepper stick. I'm just gonna use that vegetable oil in my, my squirt bottle because it's handy. This is this always, you know, the, the stuff you do offhand, the out of pocket stuff you do like this right here is always great. It always turns out wonderful. So that's flip. Uh, use my towel, wipe my hand a little bit. Hit it with a little bit more Earl so that those seasons stick. There we go. All right, I ain't massaging them in. I ain't patting it in. I'm just 
slinging that pepper on them. You can do this while it's on the grill. That's fine too. All righty. Well, how, how are these guys looking right here? How are these guys looking right here? Woo, look at that beautiful stuff right now. And we already got that uh, teriyaki down on the grill there. I'll probably hit it with a little bit more. But that's, that's good looking stuff right there. I remember I got these magnets. These magnets, these, these magnet tool holders on the ends right here. That's some good stuff. You just slap it right there. It's out of your way. I'm going to go ahead and hit this a little bit more. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. And look, this stuff is awesome sauce. This is some awesome stuff. I love it. And uh, believe me, Yoshida don't, Mr. Yoshida does not pay me a dime to say that. But I do love, who makes this? All right, while that's still griddling, automatic, baby. We're still on that automatic tonight. So while this is cooking, while we're still uh, in the process here and talking about stuff, remember those folks up in Nashville, they're still gonna need help. Uh, a lot of, lot of good, good, good people are out of work because of that bombing. Uh, I'm going to put that link back down, back down, and uh, make sure you look at that link. Help these folks out if you can. I know it's, I know Christmas is normally the season to give them a pass that, but we should, we should, uh, we should do like Jesus does and help out everybody all the time, not just on his birthday and around his birthday. Okay, be a good Christian, folks. Well, help out, give, give from the heart. It not only make you feel good, it'll help these people out that really need it. All right, so let's look at this right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this uh, expert grill therm thermometer because I like using my thermometers to test out my chicken. I'm kind of uh, a little funny about my chicken here. I don't know if we can read that yet. What's that say? 165. So if it says 165, it's done, right? That says 163. Yeah, we're at 165 there. I'm putting this in the heaviest part of the chicken. Yeah, we're done there. We're done there. We're at 170 there. This don't take long at all. All right, yeah, we're two there. So we're definitely good. So just take my little handy dandy thermometer right there. What, what, what do I do? Oh, there they are. The magnets helping me out. That beautiful. See, I didn't add, but a little bit more. That is good and covered right there. That is good and caramelized, good and crystallized. I'm gonna take it over here and get some of that extra stuff. Ooh, see that? That's what I'm talking about, that extra stuff. This is kind of like what you're gonna get at your uh, Asian food restaurants, but this is gonna taste so much better. We know where it all comes from. And if you look right here, watch what I'm doing. This stuff's been cooking on this side a little heavier. There's some over here too. And it's going to get that good caramelized, not burnt, but caramelized uh, teriyaki sauce. And that's going to help it out a lot. See, this is this is how it looks right now, just bathed in the in the teriyaki sauce. When I rub it in the griddle, that's what it's going to look like. So, you seen that? Here we go, rub it in there. Boom. That's what that that's it. That's the good stuff right there. All right. So what do we got here? I'm gonna move the, uh, don't use that. That's got that teriyaki on it. We're doing something different here. And these guys should be, woo, look at that beauty -ness right there. Look at that beauty. That's, that's gorgeous. Clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it. Get that uh, stuff off of there right there. And all I'm doing is scraping it with my spatula right now, moving it down to that grease trap. Look, man, this smells so good. This is, I was already hungry when we started this. But now I'm starving. All right. Yeah, look at them things cooking. They're doing great, ain't they? They're doing awesome. Love me some chicken. And this is this process up to do. You know how we speed the process up? Put that down. And I'm on the lowest setting on my, this black stone right here. And it's still getting that hot. I'm going to hit that right there. Let it sit for a minute or two. And it's going to be done. It won't take long at all. Every piece of equipment that we use, from the bacon press that I use that I wrapped in tin foil right here, my tongs, my spatulas, the griddle itself, the griddle cover. If you got a blackstone griddle, you're gonna be buying stuff anyway. Use my links, help me out, help out the channel, help keep this stuff going. It 
We're trying to bring you some more content. We're getting a video out at least once a week. I'm trying to post a video every Sunday. Every Sunday. And hopefully I'll do some more and be able to get more than just one a week. I cook on this thing almost every day now since I've gotten it. And it's turned out some wonderful, wonderful food. Uh, I don't... Everything and everything I've done so far has been completely out of pocket. So if you like the content, like, subscribe, buy something from from the Amazon section in there. It's free. Yeah, it don't cost you. Don't cost you. Yeah, don't cost you nothing. And the Amazon stuff's already the cheapest you're gonna find it anyway. So just buy it from there. <clears throat> hey, if anybody wants to buy me a laser, this one's ready. This one's ready. This is 160 degrees. That one's ready. Uh, if anybody wants to buy me one of those laser thermometers, get that thick piece right there. That thick piece is at 165 now, so you know what? Come on, Bella. Come on. Call it, Bella. Reminds me of a vampire movie. All right, let's check this chicken. Let's get it checked. What we got right here? What we got? 162 degrees. You know what? That's good enough for me. That's good enough for heavy tea. All right, so that's it. Let's get in and chow down. I'm gonna clean this griddle up. Remember, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, okay, cool. Hit the dislike button twice. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Check the links below for Amazon. Uh, buy something from the Amazon stuff. Help me out, help the channel out. Uh, support the folks at the distillery. Uh, folks, uh, the Nashville bombing that happened. We need to help those folks out as best we can, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, comment below if you want to. Please comment below. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to tell you. Tell me what you want me to cook. I'll cook it. Okay, I'll try to cook it. Thanks for watching.